At Tovo Academy, as we look deeper into our rondos, we really use those as an activation exercise so the players are on the ball. So let's take a basic rondo. We'll start perhaps with a 3v1 in a square grid. What are we asking the players to do? Well, we continually ask the players to scan their environment, to choose the best option, and to execute that option with prowess. So a rondo elicits these types of skills. A player on the ball must choose between wide option and wide option in 3v1, the player off the ball must move into position to support, and the ball moves fluidly if the players manage themselves, manage the space, and manage the ball in context against one opponent. One basic exercise we'll use for younger players would be a 4v1. We use a square or rectangular grid at dimensions that are age appropriate, and we ask four players to outplay one defender. In each case, the players are scanning, choosing and executing in context against the defender. Of course, if that defender wins the ball, their prize is to replace the player who is responsible for loss of possession, and we keep the ball moving. Again, we're asking players to find and exploit space in context, keeping their head up, their hips open to the possibilities, and receiving the ball and delivering the ball in conditions to move the ball fluidly through the grid. The 4v2 demands that players find and exploit space in context against two defenders. There's options to play wide, there's options to split deep, and players off the ball need to be making adjustments. So it's 100% activation, 100% of the time, reinforcing the competencies to pass and receive, but also teaching players concepts of position play like angles, distance, timing, lines, and situation. There's a lot packed into a run though that will bleed deeply into our capacity to play the game once we meet move beyond this activation exercise. You'll notice our rondos uh, start to expand. The cognitive prowess to outplay two defenders is complemented by these perimeter attackers. It also reinforces the structure that we're trying to build from seven aside to nine aside to 11 aside. So in miniature, if we think of the field as an accordion and we take out those middle of the fielders, we keep the perimeter players, that four perimeter structure can be viewed as a center back, wing backs, and a player up top without those middle of the fielders. We can change that and expand that to include two players wide. So in that six feet two, we have a center back, two wing backs, two strikers wide, and a striker up top. Again, not incorporating the middle of the fielders, if you will, yet. And we can build through that structure. In 11 aside, we'd have two center backs, we'd have two wing backs, two wings and a player up top, a striker, in our forward 4-3-3. Again, in a rondo, we're not introducing the middle of the fielders. We will do that in position play exercises. This allows us to expand the complexity when we speak of outplaying the opponents in context under pressure, using the relationships we've created by managing oneself, managing space, and ultimately managing the ball well. So you'll see that portfolio expand while it remains simple expand in terms of its complexity to read the number of teammates available and the number of opponents were to outplay.